This cell was the scene of a vicious and brutal murder. It's said that Peterhead Prison was gangland Glasgow under one roof. Carrying a knife, or being tooled up, was as normal as wearing a wristwatch to the hard men sentenced here, and violent feuds between members of rival gangs were commonplace. Prison officers had to ensure that no one, gang member or innocent bystander, was hurt as a result. In the 1970s, one such gang leader was nicknamed the Red Devil on account of all the blood he had spilled. One of his rivals occupied this cell, so when prison officer Jackie Stewart saw the Red Devil running from the open door, he immediately rushed to investigate. He found the victim kneeling against his bed as if in prayer. When he turned him over, Jackie was haunted by what he found. He was, well, he was dead. I turned him over on the floor, like, but it was a noise, but I think it was the same. The hair coming out of his body, but um, he'd been 17 stab wounds in his back. He must have stabbed him while he was lying on. He just kept stabbing. But apparently it was supposed to be a square go, you see. It was what they call a square go. They do, do the fighting and then they sell. Because all the furniture was moved back. Fighting fair was not how things were done in the brutal world of Peterhead Prison. The Red Devil himself was to become a stab victim some time later, when he was assaulted by another gangland rival who punctured his lung with a homemade blade. It was the prison officers who put themselves at risk on his behalf who ultimately saved his life.